So, uh, CAR T-cell has been a great revolution in the field of acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Uh, unfortunately, now that we are 12 years after the first pediatric patient infused, what the real-world data have shown us, including the long term of the previous clinical trial, is that the overall outcome uh, is approximately 50% even free survival, which means that unfortunately, in advanced relapse refractory BALL, approximately half of the patients will relapse. So we definitely need to improve the field. So one of the problem of the CAR T cell experience is that the target we look at is at some point a moving target. Why? Because the malignant cells are very smart and they can escape by masking or not editing at the surface the CD19 target. Because of that, uh, trials to target two targets instead of one have been done. And there are many ways to do it. And um, for the, the three main ones are the following. The first idea is to say, okay, I will use two different cars, one against CD19, one against CD22. And there is two ways to infuse them, both at the same time, which is called co-administration, or one, and then the other one, each after lymphodepletion, which is called sequential administration. Uh, two trials have been recently published with those two attitudes and are extremely interesting. The Chinese, the first Chinese one from, uh, led by Ching Hong Pui from Memphis, has included nearly 200 patients with an even free survival at 85%. 70% for patients not transplanted after the CAR. But unfortunately, in this trial, CD19 negative relapse have been observed and also still CD19 positive, CD22 positive relapse, which means non-persistence of the car. But very promising result. The sequential administration, also promising results, less patient, approximately 70 if I'm right, but again CD19 negative relapse happening, which means that the double administration, whatever co or sequential, do not prevent completely the problem. The only paper who has shown some prevention, unfortunately with very low number of patients, 12 patients, was done in the Great Ormond Street Hospital. And they have tried a different system, which is to say, I will co-transduce the two car at the same time in the soup, if you want. So you will have cells expressing a CD19 car, cell expressing CD22 car, and cell expressing both. So it's a mixture of, of, of different type of cells. Interestingly enough, in this trial, no CD19 negative or CD22 negative relapse have been observed, but it's only 12 patients, and they have a problem, they say in the paper, of persistence, so they are trying to come back to the manufacturing issues, to have more immature cells, more stem cell memory cells, etc., etc., to have more persistent cells. And then with higher numbers and more persistence, we will see if this very successful outcome is to be reproduced.